Okay, there's a very simple, there's a very simple meditation that has worked for a lot of people. Okay, we call it the flame meditation. Why do Zoroastrians, why, why do Hindus, why do Native Americans revere the fire so much? We revere the fire so much for a very simple reason. Fire can never get polluted. Every other element can get polluted. Air, water, earth, okay? Ether though does not exist, there is no bloody silence only. <laughs> the only element that cannot be polluted is fire. Whatever goes into fire, the fire retains its pristine purity. Okay? So, that is why I believe so many ancient religions revered the fire. Fire is... Civilization, I think, actually began with the invention of or knowing how to bring about fire. So, it's an evolutionary progression of mankind also. Because still fire was not created or not uh, found out, it was always there. I think we were in one of those uh, animal kind of stages. So even when you are talking about an evolutionary stage, it all began with fire. However, how much ever you can collect all the darkness in the world, one small candle can bring about light and disperse fire, uh, d disperse the darkness. That is the power of fire. The Gayatri Mantra is what? To bring about the energy of the sun within an indiv individual. The energy of the sun, sunlight, disperses darkness. So same way the Gayatri Mantra is sought to disperse the darkness within us. What is darkness? Fear, ignorance, hate, anger, that darkness. So the fire meditation is important because it reconnects you to the primordial fire. Okay? So it's a simple way of doing it. Uh, you light a candle or a diya. Try and keep the room as uh, dark as possible so the flame becomes brighter and more prominent. Observe the flame for a while and when you feel you are one with the flame, imagine yourself in the flame. Which means actually you are imagining your causal and astral body in the flame because physically you are sitting. Imagine the flame as the womb of the mother the womb of all creation. You become one with the womb and then seek what you want from the mother. Number one, what any intelligent human being would want is cleansing. That remove all darkness from me. Remove all ill health, not only of the body. We are all sick in the head. Okay, so remove all illness. Fill me with thy divine radiance. Envelop me with thy kavach, thy aura. And just be in that flame for as long as you can. And when you feel the time to get up, imagine yourself back and the flame encasing you in its protection. So it encases your three bodies. It's a very simple, but I believe it is the most ancient way of meditating because everything started with the fire. Sai Baba's dhuni has been burning for over 100 years. Zoroastrians' fire temples have fires burning for 800 years. The Hindus will do nothing without fire being lit. So, it's all about seeking in Zoroastrianism, we call the fire the son of God. Atash is called the son of God. This is the kind of reverence the ancient people gave to fire. 
and we need to go back to it.